What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we've got a very special guest. We got a, how many Grammys you won? Five? Four. Four? Four time Grammy Award winner, you know, amazing mother, amazing wife, beautiful, amazing. I don't have enough words to, to describe yourself, uh, Kelly Rowland. <laughs> 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 thank you thank you for having me no nah, the pleasure is ours so um yeah let's get right into it i know um mental health is big to you so mm -hmm. talk to us about you know the importance of mental health especially within the black community i feel like our mental health is um long overdue mm -hmm. um long overdue and i think that that's just due to um history really you know, uh, I, I, for Black Americans specifically, um, but for, for, for all Black people, period. But I just feel like our trauma dates back and is so deeply rooted um, in, into who we are. You know what I mean? Um, there's this book a friend of mine was just telling me about uh, called The Body Keeps the Score. Mm -hmm. And if you think about how the body has kept the score um, since 400 years ago and traveling across water and, you know, all the trauma that happened on the, those boats and other places that we didn't see, you know what I mean? As opposed to all the things that we saw as well. I just think that it's, um, long overdue, you know, and, um, we deserve it. We deserve mental health. Yeah. And I think, uh, for a long time. Sorry, my answer is so long, but I feel like it's no, such no, a. We, we love the details. Um, but I also feel like because um, you know, for so long, I feel like it, it was a lot of people saying, "Well, you know, mental health that's not that's not for black people," or right. we have church, or there's there's always been so many different places to place mental health for us that I don't know what it is that like um, that we don't needed or i don't even think it's that i just think that it's like oh well church will fix it oh well just talk about it that's not what it's about it's about dealing with serious things and you know you having triggers and you don't know where those things are coming from and right it's just i just feel like ours is so incredibly loaded and we have so much to unpack mm -hmm. and um yeah it's it's so piled on for us and we deserve mental health we deserve happiness and joy especially for everything that we've gone through and come out of right so yeah yeah and i feel like you know when at least back then it was almost like you're labeled as crazy or something wrong with them you want to go try to see a therapist or like a shrink or whatever the case may be so sometimes you just got to vent and just like talk about what's going on in your mind and you know today i feel like it's now acceptable and and more so encouraged to do it just to make sure your, your mental is all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think, yeah, it is. Thank God for this time. I don't know. I can honestly say I, I, I don't know what necessarily like made it okay now. Right. I think because there's nothing else, like there's no more mystery mm -hmm. behind everything. It's almost like, like the, the curtains being um, swept away for everything. And I think that that's including mental health and being so forthcoming and honest about that and it not being taboo, you know? Yeah, for sure. I, you actually kind of answered my, my second question as far as like how, why is it today is such like, you know, a good thing to do now or more like encourage. But yeah, yeah we got your answer to that. So we go on to the next one. <laughs> so talk about how you personally manage your own like mental health. Like what tips or tricks you could give like to the people viewing as far as like how to make sure their mental health or is very calm and doesn't really affect them in a negative way. You know how some people have like stress balls, some people go to the gym, some people breathing breathe. for me. Breathing, yeah. Oh, I gotta breathe. Like mm -hmm. if if something is just like causing me to like feel like I'm here, like because my thing is always some I could feel like I'm which I mean for a lot of people, but I feel like the water's too high up. Yeah. That's for me, like when I feel like the water's too high up, you can actually feel my energy when it's happening. Cause I'm like, like doing like that. And then I'm like, 
and I, I'll take 10 deep breaths. If I have to take 50, I will too. <laughs> because sometimes it takes 50, sometimes it takes 100. But you have to bring yourself down because one thing that I've learned is not to speak to people out of anger. Right. You know what I mean? And that was like a real thing for me. And I would also like let things just kind of like, oh, well, that person said something to me. Okay, I'll just let it ride. This person said another thing to me. I'll just let it ride. And I'll let it ride so many times that then I just lose it on them. Mm -hmm. And I had to just pull back and say, okay, what? I couldn't even be mad at them. It wasn't them. It was my responsibility to, to tell them, yo, you need to chill or don't do this to me or whatever. Don't talk to me like that, whatever. It's a way to deal with things. And the truth is, is that we are responsible for our own actions. Definitely, definitely. And then you think about, you know, what they say, like, don't make decisions when you're angry or go to bed, like, making, yeah. feeling angry and things of that nature. Because you never know, like, you wake up in the morning, like, damn, I really just said that. And your, your head is clear. And you're just like, oh, I could have handled that, you know, a little better. So definitely what you yeah. said, definitely take a deep breath before you make, like, decisions and going through something, you know, breathing, going to see somebody whole bunch of different ways to, to manage that stress and you know yeah. keeping your mental in check so definitely i'm sure someone in this viewing right now is definitely going to be like you know what kind of said take some deep breaths so i'm gonna do that whether it's 10 or 50. it helps mm -hmm. and if you take 200 deep breaths and take 200 deep breaths yeah. it just you have to get to a place to where you are calm yeah. only because you deserve it you yeah. don't like you don't deserve to give somebody enough power to where like you lose it on them for sure you know what i mean you deserve the space for yourself to to breathe and just decompress and, and relax and then speak absolutely because i mean for women especially we can't come off like the angry black woman no nah, not at all not at all you know what I mean? And for me and y'all, I'll be aggressive black man. So we always have to curtail stuff for everybody. Just shoot. Yeah. Always got to bring it in and just to make yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm with you. Trust me, I get it. Because I'm 6'5", but I'm not even mean or nothing like that. But I never want to come off across as the angry, tall black guy. Because yeah. that turns pretty bad pretty quick. So. <laughs> So last question for you, um, tell us about the work you've been doing with Beam and you know, how crucial and important uh, they are to the community. You know, for me, it's, it really came down to this case. Yeah, to most recently this George Floyd case. And um, I just watched, I, I can't even start to think about it because I'll just turn into waterworks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't imagine what it must have been like to be so present there in that space. And that brings about so much trauma. So the work that they're doing mm -hmm. into making sure that the community is, mental health is taken care of and you know that they're seen or they're able to speak to someone or they're, I mean, all of the work that goes into it is so layered. That's what people, don't, it's, it's not just about sitting on a couch. Right. You know what I mean? about having a community and a, a sense of of people and support around you that will help you through those times where you can't even figure them out yeah. and um that's exactly what they do and i'm very proud um to, to support them for sure yeah because i even think about that, that like sometimes where you're seeing these things happen uh happen constantly and just like that can only do so much to like your mental and psyche and things of that nature so super glad um you're introducing the world to Beam and the work they're doing. Yeah. And you know, us at Finish Line JD, we started community voices to help elevate voices like yours and everybody else's to create awareness as far as like what's going on within the black and brown community. So with that said, you know, on your behalf, we want to make a donation of twenty thousand dollars to Beam to help, you know, continue the work they are doing and yeah. making a positive impact on the community. Yes. Yes. It's it's necessary. And I'm I'm grateful to, to just be a vessel. That's, yeah. that's what we're supposed to be for each other. It's just vessels. And I'm, I'm telling you, I saw that case and I could not, if we're already going through our trauma and we have our different nightmares and, mm -hmm. and dreams and anxiety behind everything that's happening uh, with all Black lives and every 
I, I, I can't. Um, we, we need to be able to, to talk to someone and we need to be able to vent and we need to be able to cry and someone not say, cry, baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We need to be, be a able man to, or da -da -da, all types of stuff. Yeah. We need to be able to be vulnerable and safe and provide a safe space for vulnerability uh, to express yourself. Definitely, definitely. Cool. And um, yeah, that's a wrap. Uh, thank you again for taking the time out. That's it. Busy. Yeah, I mean, it's a quick conversation. It's a quick conversation. Okay. Well, I. I no, I, you want to talk more about. Yeah, you, let's, just, no, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I love this conversation. I feel like it's necessary. I feel like we don't have enough of them. I'm so grateful for Charlemagne the God. I'm so grateful for Michelle Williams. So grateful for Dr. Jess, you know, who talk about mental health all the time on their platforms and yeah. especially for the black and brown community because we don't have enough of it. You know, we still don't have enough of it. And I think that it's starting to, you know, become like whispers on people's lips, like when they talk about it, but it's still mm -hmm. a thing. It's still a thing and it should be something like, wow, you went, where did you go? You know, it's it's more so like, if it's good ice cream and you want some, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it should literally be like that. Like, well, well, I want to talk to them. How was it? It should be more so like asking questions and not just condemning someone because they are trying to get help for themselves mentally. Definitely, definitely. And then um, I'm trying to think of a good question now because now we're... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what, like, you know, books or outside of like taking deep breaths, like what are some ways people could educate themselves on just like mental health and the kind of resources uh, that you get? Um, you know, what's funny. Mm -hmm. um, I actually always look at um, different um, YouTube channels, like for yeah that talk about mental health you know what i mean um even if you just google daddy issues <laughs> you know what i mean to like things like that like just make yourself aware of it you know or like i said log on to like conversations that charlamagne the god is having or dr jess i don't know if people uh, know about dr jess but she's a brilliant black female right. she's amazing she's very smart um, just really um, aware of our community and where we sit with mental health and trying to like, like not over talk, you know, anyone or like, you know, I, I feel like sometimes people are like, well, I don't know what they, they say. And yes, you do. D Dr. Jess breaks it down in such a way that's so brilliant and so relatable and so honest and so authentic and so necessary. And I think that people should definitely like Pay attention to her and, and, and the things that she's doing within the community is beautiful. And Michelle is writing a book. Michelle Williams has wrote a book called Checking In. That's her own uh, self journey um, of mental health and self awareness, and it's beautiful. I, I'd say listen to people's journey. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and their journey with mental health. But you can you can look everywhere now. Funny enough, like mm -hmm. I read parenting books. <laughs> When I know, but when I'm reading parenting books, I'm learning so much about myself and so many things that maybe my mom missed the mark on because she didn't get she didn't get that. Those times were different too, huh? Those times were different too. Like I can imagine oh, you reading something and it's like this oh, makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And so you know, it's um like I said, we are responsible for our own actions and I don't blame my mother for anything. It's, it's more so like, you know, she did best with the information that she had, you know what I mean? As far as parenting was concerned, did she get everything right? No. Did I come out, you know, cool? Yeah, I came out, I, I'm, I think I'm pretty cool. So, you know what I mean? And, and, and the other kinks, like I'm figuring out or I'm working it out. Um, and, I, and, and as a parent, like, I try to figure out as much as I can so that I won't repeat those same mistakes. Right. Do you know what I mean? And um, some stuff is also generational. So it might come up and you might have to actually fight those things off and away mm -hmm. and learn about what those are and be cognizant of what they are so that when they do come up, you know how to handle them. Right. Yeah. Well, and there's, there's, for sure. And there's a friend of mine 
and he he's a, he's a white man, but he's very smart and knows his stuff about about mental health. And I don't care what color you are, what background you are, the way Joe Bolduc breaks things down is so amazing. And he's actually become one of my closest friends. Uh, if, if not, I'd say like somebody is like close to my soul. Um, Cause I do feel like I'm, I can bear my soul to him. Like I remember talking to him about one thing that happened in my life and it was like the most freeing journey. Yeah. I've ever, one of the many freeing journeys I've had, but like this was like definitely top five. And um, I'll never forget like the way he broke everything down for me and, and the way he expresses it because it's in very much so human form. Mm -hmm. And we're all, we're all of the human race and, and, and we all have hurt and pain that we have to deal with. And that is all the same. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we had uh, Charlemagne as a guest when he was great speaking on like mental health. Yeah. That thing I hit up law, the guy, uh, just for episodes about, so. And yeah. make it longer. I'm telling you, like, ask her every yeah. question in the book. We, she and I sit at my kitchen table mm -hmm. and we have so many conversations. We can sit at that kitchen table for hours and talk. Yeah. No, I will, I will, because, you know, we want to be cognizant of your time because I know everyone's super busy with all types of things going on. So we don't want to make it too lengthy. But yeah. love the energy and, you know, being able to continue these conversations. It means a lot to us and mm -hmm. more people, all your fans that are going to view and just everyone tuning in so yeah well thank you so much for having me and like i said i, I hope that you go check out the folks that i told you about of course charlamagne we love yeah. michelle williams i love uh, dr jess i love joe bo duke speak to understand he's amazing 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 speaker and um yeah thank you for having me no the pleasure is ours thank you for taking the time out and um yeah that's a wrap you know make sure everybody tunes in uh, next week, gonna have another special guest, and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank oh, you. I also want to give a shout out to your team. Show shout out to Simone. Shout out to Hank. Shout yes. out to Lenny. Who else I'm missing? Shout out to Sasha, Lindsay. Uh, I feel like I got everybody. Yes, shout you did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you, and have a great week. Thank you so much. You too.